Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. I just finished a quick game. Oh, that was the quick game. <laughs> we saw it for a second. And I wanted to generate some thumbnail ideas for it. So my computer's doing that in the background. But, which is a crazy thing to say, isn't it? My computer is generating thumbnail ideas in the background. That's insane. That's the world we live in, guys. Now, the Vienna game. This is something that I'm not very familiar with. I don't know, like, any kind of optimal play here. That's for sure. I'm gonna probably bring a knight out. Which one? Let's see. I think in the Vienna, don't they usually play this move? Is he gonna follow up with f4? Oh, gosh. Um... I, I, I don't know what to do here, guys, unfortunately. I kind of want to bring my bishop out so that I can defend my center pawn and not lock in my bishop. Does that make any sense? But usually, you don't want to bring your bishop out so early. I don't know. I'm going to do it, but it's probably wrong. But I don't know what else to do. Because my logic is, I think he's going to play f4, and I want to push this pawn. Now, I could have done like a backward slav, but I think I had a video about that, and I got absolutely demolished. And I said, never play a backward slav. <laughs> it does not work. Okay, so apparently, guys, we're playing the Anderson defense. Now I can defend this pawn. We're playing the London. That's what we're doing. The London as black. Now I'm going to bring my knight out. I'm ready to castle. And, you know, the game goes on. Oh, he's Fee and Kedoween. Very fancy. Okay, that gives me an idea to go here, pinning the knight momentarily. And then when he brings his bishop in, I bring my queen up and I can trade off the bishop. You know? So let's see, how many moves is that? One, he moves his bishop. Two, he castles. Three, I attack his bishop. Now my king is still in the center. I don't have my knights developed. Yeah, unfortunately, that's maybe not a great idea. So let's bring a knight out first. There's going to be time for the other stuff. I'm going to get my bishop here. And now my bishop is defended by the knight, so there aren't any weird shenanigans. Because, you know, whenever you have a piece pinned against the queen... It's also a discovered attack against your piece, right? So I'm going to pin the knight real quick. Oh, he could kick me out right now. But he doesn't, so I can, I can force a bishop trade, and I'll be happy. King is ready to castle. Now it's too late to push a pawn. That doesn't work. Yeah, this is a similar idea to what I play in the London against the modern defense, which is similar. You know, Fianchetto, Bishop, except it's Black doing it, and they're on this side of the board. But the idea is generally you want to have this battery set up to take out the Bishop. That's one of the very simple ideas. And I know it's, it's usually not the very best idea, but it's something that I can always remember, you know? See, he's making my opponent think. He realizes what's up now. And how do you get out of this? The knight is pinned. There's nothing you can do to defend this bishop. We are going to get rid of the bishop. The only downside is I'm not castled yet. Here's the question. Can I take a moment to get castled? Castled. 
Can I take a moment to get castled, or should I go ahead and do this? Um, I'm going to say let's go ahead and castle, and then I'm going here. Because the knight is still pinned. He's not going anywhere. Nothing can come over to help the bishop. Yeah, I think we're, we're happy here. He could come and pin my knight... Ooh. That might be why he pushed that pawn. He wants to pin my knight. Oh gosh, he finds it. Can I take a moment and defend my knight? Let's do it. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to go here for a moment. Uh, I've misplayed this, though, guys. I definitely have misplayed this. Now I can kick out the bishop, but he's just going to drop back. I can move my knight. I could move my knight now. I could go here. Actually, I could have done that right away. I could have gone here. Why don't I just do that now? If I, hold on, if I chase the bishop, bishop basically has to go back here. Oh, now this knight is unpinned. I have to start, I have to be really careful, guys. Knight here. Ah, uh, I might not be doing well. I'm going to defend the knight like this instead. But yeah, now that knight is not pinned. But that's okay. I just want to trade off this bishop for now. That's my goal. Oh, shoot. This is not good. He's going to push the pawn and hit my queen. Let's see. If I take, he's going to take here. Take, 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 take. And then I can trade off the bishop, maybe. But... Oh my gosh, how can I take that pawn and fork him? That would be nice. Pin the knight, attack my queen, I jump in and hit his queen, if he takes, I take and I'm hitting a rook, and then he takes my knight, I take his rook, he takes my knight, oh, I don't know, that's too complicated for me, I think I end up losing a piece. Now, if I just take the pawn, Then this knight still jumps in. I recapture. Queen. It doesn't matter, does it? So if I take, he takes with the knight. I take. Is there any way I can win a pawn? Let's see. If I just go here, he's going to push. And completely mess up my queen. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. So I do need to do something. I can't completely calculate it, but let's see. If I take that pawn and he pushes here, then I take this with a hit on the queen. And I'm just going to take, I don't know. 
This is a little complicated for me. He, he can take, hitting my queen. I take, he recaptures, I get rid of his bishop. That's my goal here. Like that. And now we're gonna trade off the bishop. Now what? It's even, except he's got a bishop and I have a knight. So maybe he's winning. I definitely misplayed this. I was, I don't think I had time to castle. I needed to do the trade earlier. Or maybe I, I was too hasty and I should have played h6 to just stop that whole pin from happening, you know? Now, the, the cool thing in this position, guys, is my knight is not pinned. I'm gonna jump here, and how does he stop checkmate? Okay, well, he finds, he finds the move, doesn't he, guys? What the heck? Very, very, very impressive. Ugh. Darn, how, how did he see that? That's amazing. Really, really amazing. Okay, well, let's see. If I, if I attack the bishop... I can jump a knight here. And then I can take that. Rook takes, I jump in here, Rook drops back, I take the Rook. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's... How do I get in, how do I get my Knight here? Attack the Bishop. I can bring a rook over. I'm just going over ideas. What can I do here? I can attack the queen with a pawn. I can jump here. If I jump here and he pushes the pawn, then I jump here. He brings his rook up to defend. I take the rook. Oh, I don't know. This is this is complicated. I, I think I want to jump in here. If I attack the queen, can't go here, can't go here, can't take the knight, or can't take the pawn. That kind of looks good because it makes the queen go back. But the queen's probably going to go back to here and guard the bishop. Um, if I jump here, how about if I jump here, then I'm threatening to take, no I'm not, he takes with the knight. If I jump here, I'm not threatening anything, you guys. I might want to just bring a rook over. That seems like an idea. But should I bring my F rook over? I'm going to hit the queen. You know what? Let's make the queen move first. That is a reasonable move. It comes with tempo. So it can't be a complete disaster, right? Can't be a complete disaster. So 
The important thing is that the queen cannot come forward. And if the queen goes here, well then I can jump my knight and hit the queen again. Or I can just push a... No, that would just lose the pawn. Never mind. <gasps> okay, I... I... I missed that one, guys. Holy smokes. How did I miss that? Well, what can I do except threaten an attack, you know? Darn. Now I'm down a pawn. Oh, that was such a basic mistake. Look at that, guys. Okay, so right here, I didn't even consider that the queen could take the pawn. I was like, well, the queen can't go here. Can't go here. Oh, boy. Calculation errors, guys. But you know what? I'm going to tell myself, hey, I've got a, an open file and a semi-open file. <laughs> so that's good, right? There's nowhere safe for the queen to go except right there. That might be the safest spot. What? Oh, he's going to jump in here with a check? Oh my god. No. That's ridiculous. He's going to jump in here with a check. What can I do? Very nice move. Very nice move. Man, this guy is so good. Um, okay, let's see. If I jump... If I jump here, actually, he just takes my knight. If I put a rook here, he jumps in anyway. Because it's defended by his queen. He jumps in with check, I take... Oh, this is this has gotten bad. This has gotten bad. How do I stop him from jumping there? I can put my rook here. And he jumps in anyway. And then I move. How about if I just move right now? Oh, wait, he he's going to take this knight as well, isn't he? I am in big trouble, you guys. Let's see. He jumps in here. I think I might just need to move my king. Okay, if he jumps in here and I move my king, what can he do? Now, what if his plan is to take the knight? That would be terrible, because I take the knight with a discovered hit on his queen. So I don't think that's his plan. I think I should maybe just move. I'm just going to move out of the way. It seems reasonable. If he wants to jump in here, more power to him. But now I can make some moves. I can jump somewhere. Where can I jump? I don't actually know because I realize I can't jump here. That's a big flaw with my plan. This has, I've got to be losing here. It's probably plus, I don't know, five. Look at all these pieces he's getting right by my king. I only have the queen, and he's totally safe. Yeah, I'm just getting... This pawn move was amazing. It stopped my entire... Any semblance of a plan was stopped right there. I think I'm going to push this pawn and kick out the bishop or something. What can I? What else can I do, guys? Honestly. He just has to back up, though. Yeah, I, I pinned my own knight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is awful.
Mm. I have to say, my opponent is playing, I think, very, very well for someone only 1,100. High is 1,200. What the heck? He joined last month? Ooh, okay, this guy's just really good. He joined August 2nd. Today's September 2nd, and he's already up to 1,200. That's really good. So he's a, he's a good chess player before he joined the site. I'm in trouble. What do I do here, though? Like, oh my god, my phone is so annoying. I keep trying to silence it. Here, I have to... Yeah, here we go. We'll at least put it to vibrate. What am I getting all these messages for? Oh. Okay, now he's coming after me, huh? my phone doing what does it want no let's see here he wants to take my knight I can't take the pawn because he just takes If I move this knight, I lose my my rook. This is pretty hopeless looking, guys. I hate to say it, but I'm in a bit of trouble. Well, I have to move this guy and attack his queen. Let's start there. We'll start there. There's no check except, you know, sacking the queen. He can take the pawn, but then I take his knight and hit the queen, defended by this guy. Okay, so it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Now I can take that knight and hit the queen, right? That might have been a blunder. Take the knight, hit the queen. Now what? Yeah, I think that was a mistake, because now I'm up material. <laughs> now we're doing good again, guys. Whew. That was close. Let's see, he can take that. I can almost trap the queen, but I can't. Hmm. Rook up to here. Defending the pawn. Rook up to here. Queen, oh, my knight is hanging still too. So I have to be careful. My knight is hanging. Rook up to here. Queen mm, probably is gonna go here which also pins my knight. Oh my gosh. All right, I need to... Let me think. I can't jump my knight there. 
Oh, well, okay, so queen back to here. If he takes my knight, I take his bishop. Then he takes a pawn, and I capture, and it's even. But I have a piece for three pawns, so I might be okay. But let's think about this a little harder. This bishop is not defending the king at all. So sacking my rook for the bishop doesn't get me anything. So I think I do need to move. So if I go here, he's going to bring his queen like this. I need to do something. Maybe rook here hitting the queen. Okay, I have to go for it. I don't want to lose... A rook for a bishop because then I'm going back down and I'm losing so he can go here but then it's basically over I, I'm gonna move my knight somewhere or just bring my queen back no he's gonna push this pawn then ooh yeah if I bring my queen back to fork them he pushes a pawn and it defends everything. That doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so he went for this instead. Now I'm thinking, let's just keep going after. Oh, wait, that hangs my rook and is a... That's no good. Now I can jump here and it defends my my rook. Oh my gosh, this is this is hard, you guys. Rook here. I, I thought I was going to play my rook here. I can't do that. Wait, 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 wait. Rook here. Rook here, defended by the knight. Knight is defended by the knight. Yeah, let's keep going after the queen, guys. Get my pieces set up in an advantageous way. Coordination. Everything is defending everything. <laughs> everything is defended, amazingly. And I keep going after that queen. Now he could go here. But then I go after him again. Let's see. If I bring my rook over, it's the same old story. I keep thinking that I can bring my rook over, but I can't. Ugh. I can just repeat. I go here. He takes this pawn. I go back. Got to keep after that queen. What about knight to here? Then I drop this knight. Yeah, let's just keep going after the queen. It's all it's really all I can do right now, guys. He's going to take the pawn most likely. And then material is even. But again, I have a piece for 3 pawns. In theory, I think I'm still winning if that happens. And I missed that one. All right, guys. Terrible game. This guy is just really good. What can I say? I got completely outplayed. Let's look at the game review. Yeah, I think I was just too slow in the opening. A little too slow. Oh, my gosh. So I was winning very, very briefly, just for three or four moves. 
Oh, what a tragic game. Okay, let's check this out. Yeah, like I said, I don't really have a plan against the Vienna. It's something I haven't played much, but I'm doing fine. The opening went fine. Castling was okay. Yeah, here, why didn't I just move my knight? I wanted to look at this. What if I just go here? Knight d5. Then I trade off. Oh, no. That doesn't work because he's going to win my rook, right? He takes. I recapture. He takes and my rook is stuck. So that's not good. Oh, so that didn't work, huh? The move is just bring your knight back. That is crazy. That's... That's a tough one to see, you guys. That is a tough one to see. But, so what, hmm, what do you do? What's better? So I shouldn't have castled, I should have pushed a pawn. Now, you know, that's something I should have thought of because that's another thing in the London system. When you're playing against that modern defense, like I was talking about, you push your H pawn and you just march forward and start breaking up that pawn structure. So here's probably what I should have done. Bring my knight out. And I don't know what white would do. Probably this. And I castle this way. This is exactly what I do. Oh, that's, a, that's an inaccuracy. Okay. Hmm. Bishop takes knight. I recapture. Knight jumps in. And now I would trade off the bishop. This is completely losing. Okay, so my plan doesn't work against the Vienna. I I guess I just don't know what I'm doing, guys. Oh, he's going to take a pawn. Nope, that's not the play. What what does he do here? C3. C3. Getting ready to kick my bishop around. Yeah. Oh, well. It's like I always say. If you don't know an opening, you, you're going into the game with a disadvantage, you know? I, I tried to play principled, but I got messed up right there. Okay, so going after the queen was a complete blunder. Let's go back to where I was before. So right here... I should have kicked out the bishop, it looks like. Yeah, so that is bad. I gave up a piece. And by that, chess.com is referring to the pawn. That was very confusing because most chess YouTubers call pieces like knights, rooks, bishops, queen. They don't include pawns. If you ever watch chess bra or anything like that, they're always talking about that. So, I think I just need to move this guy. I just need to move my knight somewhere. Maybe even back here is still a good move. Okay. <laughs> this is a tricky position. What can I say? H6, A5, or Rook F to E8. Yep, that was a move that I considered, but I was thinking, well, what was I thinking? I wanted to attack the queen. I thought that can't be a bad move, and I didn't see, yeah, it all came down to that. So, guys, I actually played pretty evenly, and then I blundered upon. The queen got in really close. This was a very good find by my opponent. Like, I didn't look at that. And I did. I missed this weak square. Whew. Congrats to my opponent. This is a very natural move. I'm surprised that's a blunder. So I should have taken the pawn? What? Oh, because I win the rook. I win the knight back. Oh, man, I wish I had seen that. I mean, it's equal. Totally equal. Ugh.
That's very nice. So here I'm winning. And look, the idea is the fork that I was talking about. But then after the pawn comes up, now what? Knight g4, rook b8, or rook d7 are all completely winning. Huh. So let's look at those. Knight g4, what does that do? Knight g4. Giving up my rook. Okay. Why? I'm really confused. Knight g to e3. This is complete nonsense. Whoops, knight g, sorry, knight g to e3. What? That's, oh, that's not g3. Wait a second, I'm sorry. Why, why did I see knight g to e3? Hold on. So after this, Queen takes c2. Oh, threatening mate. Okay, that makes sense. That's pretty crazy, guys. Okay, complicated game. Complicated game, and yeah, that was a blunder. pretty crazy i was winning here that's that's hard to believe but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that this was a complicated game and unfortunately it's really hard for me anyway to learn lessons from games where the accuracy was not great you know it, there's so many things i did wrong i guess it's just tactics gotta work on tactics right anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you next time bye